right? Turn the camera off for me because I want to see you. I want to put a name to your face, right? And I see, I want to see my note takers as well here on this call, okay? Now, I would love for you guys to do me one big favor, okay? And be honest with me, okay? Can y'all all be honest, transparent with me? Number one thing that I want from you guys is honest because the only way that I could bring you to where you guys want to go is if you be honest with me, okay? That's the only way that I could bring you where we want to go, okay? So the first thing that I want from you guys is I want you to drop a four in the chat box. If you ever told yourself that you wanted to become an IBO, you wanted to go two and three, I want you to drop a four in the chat box for me, okay? If you ever wanted to start this, if you ever wanted to go on this road to become a chairman, a chairwoman, drop a four for me in the chat box, okay? But you don't know where to begin. Or if you're this person, you see people on stage, you see people on these amazing calls, you see Nano, you see AWOL, you see Janelli's Rosa, you see all these amazing speakers, and you're like, man, I could be there one day. Drop a four for me in the chat box, okay? Or if you're that person that's here and people come to you and ask you about trading, people come up to you and ask you about e-commerce, people talk to you and ask you about crypto. Right now, look what happened today, the FOMC, right? The percentages went up. People are asking you questions and you don't know how to answer them. Drop a four in the chat box for me. And look, I'm gonna take this favorite bar from one of my favorite mentors, Neno, my coach, my brother. He always says this, if I would you, so I'm here going to ask you guys this question. If I could show you guys a way to tell you how to tell someone how you could be able to become two and free or how you could be able to go on and put Digital Dynasty on the map, if that's you here, drop a seven in the chat box for me, right? Because this is how I'm going to begin this training for you. Because every single one of you guys that's here today is ready to hit that next level, right? Because guys, look, I was once right there where you're at taking notes, asking the most questions, showing up, camera on, doing the most. I'm still doing it. <laughs> three years later now, August 29th, I'll have three years in this journey. And today here, guys, I'm going to give you guys a set of skill sets, and I'm going to equip every single one of you guys here today so you could be able to take yourself from where you're at right now to two and three. Even if you're a, a Chairman 150, even if you're a Chairman 600, Chairman 1000, Chairman 2000 that's here right now. We're going to take you from zero to 100 real quick, okay? Doesn't matter what level you're at. These skills, these six skill sets right here are going to improve and equip you guys so you could be able to go accomplish it. And not only just that, guys, but this right here is going to help you help the people that join your business to go to and free. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. I'm excited to really run this with you guys, right? And I'm here to tell you guys, look, first thing is first, if you're taking notes, write this down. People need you. You don't need people, but people need you. Guys, the information that we're learning here on a day-to-day -day basis, people need us. People need this 1% information. What the digital dynasty has, everybody in the world needs it. Even you guys. But remember, people need us. We don't need the people. And that's what you guys need to learn in this journey. Okay? Now, if you're a Chairman 150, Drop a 150 in the chat box for me. If you're a chairman 150 right now or chairwoman 150, drop a 150 in the chat box for me, okay? Because after this, we're all gonna go chairman 150 right after this because I'm gonna give you guys six skill sets. And the first thing that I want you to write down is people need me. I don't need people. And the next thing that I want you to write down is leadership. What is leadership? Because here, guys, you need to become a leader and you need skill sets, okay? Leadership is taking someone to a place that they never been before, but when they get there, they thank you. Let me repeat that one more time. Leadership is taking someone to a place that they never been to, but they thank you when they get there. Guys, this is a business, and this is a journey that you're gonna be working with people. But not only you're gonna be working with people here, but you're gonna take people somewhere that they never have been before. And it's one of the most beautiful things that you can ever do to somebody. Every single day, you guys can ask Nano this. Every single day I text him. Every single day I say thank you to him. He wakes up to my thank you. I thank my team every single day. 
because he brought me to a place and my team is bringing me to a place that I've never been for. I've never been here before. Right. And not only just I have ever been here before, but guess what, guys? In this place, it's a place where you guys are actually going to truly, truly feel fulfillment. You're truly going to find that passion, that love. You're truly going to find yourself. And that's what happened to me within the last three years. And I'm here now. I'm going to start this training here for you guys. I'm going to share my screen. Let me know if you guys can see my screen. If you guys can see my screen, let me know here in the chat box. I see you guys taking notes. I'm telling you, man, today, something's, something's going to click here today. Right. Because here today, you guys are going to receive massive, massive, massive value. And I'm super excited to be able to bring that value to you. OK, so here in today's training, guys, we're going to learn how to go to and free and experience this. But in this experience, we need six steps. OK, number six is a favorite number of mine as well. Right. It's blessings going up. So today you, your blessings are going to go up today. Right. And I gave you guys too much here real quick. Hold up. Let me see. Can I hit the next slide? Awesome. Perfect. Hold up. So that's me right here. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, take a picture of that and follow me. So the first thing that we all need, guys, here, you're going to be working with people. Okay? This is a business for people. So the first thing that we all need in here is we got to understand the four personality types. Because here, we're going to work with people. You guys are going to be working with people here. And when you're working with people, the best thing that you all need to know is the four colors. The best thing that you need to know is the four personality types. Okay? And I'm going to start with my blues. The blues are the people who are expressive. The blues are the leaders in your business that are social. The, the, the blues are the leaders in your business who like to take control. Right? Who are motivated who are inspired. These are the leaders, the blues, who can run an event for you. You see Sam, Sam is a blue. He's someone that is very organized. He's someone that is excited. He's someone that has that energy. He's someone that likes to be in control and loves to have fun. And Sam plans events. Sam open up calls. So if you have a blue in your business or if you're a blue, drop a blue in the chat box for me. Right. Because this is the first thing that you need to know when you're writing the list. The first thing that you need to know when you're inviting people into this is know their personalities. It's very important. So my blues. OK, the blues are the people who love to have fun and the people who love to plan things. OK, drop a blue in the chat box if you're a blue. Next one is my yellows. My yellows are the caring. The, ye the yellows are the people that are patient. The yellows are the people that have the big hearts, the people that just care. They care, care, care so much. They care about, about where everybody's heading. They care about making sure that you're in the right place. If you're a yellow, drop a yellow in the chat box. Drop a yellow in the chat box if you're a yellow. Okay? The next, we have the greens. The greens is the, I want to know more, right? These are the analyticals. These are the people right here that will ask you the most questions. These are the people that will ask you the deep questions. And you will have the deep conversations with them. These are the people that are the great note takers. These are the people that everyone fully understands that wants to make sure that they fully understand everything before they go to the next step, right? Those are the, these are the people that want to make sure what is going on, okay? Very, very, very important. Very, very, very important. The greens. If you're a green, drop a green in the chat box. Next is my reds. The next one we have is the Reds. The Dreads are the drivers. The, dread, the, the Reds are the aggressive. The, the Red are the willingness. The Red like to be first. The Red are very competitive. The Reds are very, very, very dominant. So if you're a Red, jump a Red in the chat box. Jump a Red in the chat box, right? I'm seeing some yellows. I'm seeing some blues. Okay. I'm seeing some red blues. Okay. Some red yellows. Okay. 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 Perfect. So guys, this right here is the most important thing that you need to know before you even go out there, guys. This is the most important thing. Before you go to and free, before you even go and speak about this, this is the most important thing that you need to know, okay? okay. Most important thing that you need to know right here, okay? Perfect. Perfect. 
Perfect, perfect. Now, this is the step, the six step system. If you're taking notes, write this down. First step is you gotta establish your why. Second step, you need to know your goals. You need to know what direction are you heading. The third step to go to and free, you need to know how to make a list. The next step is edification. The following step after that is called leverage. And the next final step is called invite. Okay? Very, very, very important for you guys to know this right here. And I'm going to start with the first step. Okay? The first step to this is your why. Okay? Your why, everybody say it with me in the chat, will help you. Your why will help you in this journey. You guys need to know how to establish your why. Your why will help you. Your why will guide you in the right direction. Your why will always keep you going and remind you why did you get started, okay? And I'm gonna explain to you how you establish your why. It's very important for you to establish your why. The first thing you wanna do with establishing your why is you gotta ask yourself these questions. First question, what do you want? You gotta make sure well, what exactly do you want? What is the season that you're in right now? in this business, in this journey, in life, what is it? Truly, truly important for you to know that. Because if you don't know what you want, how you, how you gonna be able to go out there and help other people? You see, my why is everything to me. They say if your why don't make you cry, it's not your why. What is your why? Why do you truly wake up, KD, every single day and do this? You see, my why is my mother. You see, my why, is showing my mom and dad a better life than what they gave me. My why is for my kids' kids. My why I'm building bridges for my kids' kids to follow after me. <clears throat> my why is my family. My why is my team. Even in this journey, guys, being here almost three years now, seeing hundreds of people join my business, hundreds of people left my business, became the best version of myself here in this journey, but the best thing that I told my mentors and I told my team is that I'm doing this for them. With them or without them, I'm still doing this for them. And of course, I'm doing this to help third world countries. My goal is after we be able to master this, is to go to third world countries and help third world individuals build entrepreneurship academies in all parts of the world. That's why I'm truly passionate about what I'm doing. That's why I'm truly passionate about developing skill sets and losing myself in the development of others. I love exactly what I do, guys. And this is why I do it. This is why I have a visual here today because I know there's someone here on this call just like me that was looking for this answer. I know there's someone on this call that's just like me when I first got started in this journey. And guess what? God used me here today as a vessel so I could be able to relay the message to you to simplify things. This is what the digital dynasty is all about, guys, about simplifying things so you can be able to walk on marbles. We walk through the mud for you guys. Our mentor Nano walked through the mud for us so we could be able to walk on marbles here today. Six years in the game, through ups and downs, still showing up every day. I'm super grateful for this. But your why will help you in this journey. Your why will keep you going, okay? So the first thing is you got to ask yourself, what exactly do you want? What is it? What is it that you want right now? What is that? Who do you want to help? That's the next thing. You got to ask yourself, who do I want to help? Yes, I want to do this. This is what I want. But what exactly, who do I want to help? And the next thing is, where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? Where is it? Where do you want to be? That's the next thing, right? That's the next thing right there. Where do you want to be? What is it? Now, the second step is going to be your goals. What is your? What are your goals? You got to establish your goals. You got to establish a long-term goal. You got to establish a short-term goal. And let me break these goals down. There's three types of goals, two types of goals, that you guys should be setting right here. 
right now here today as you're walking into this journey. Okay, you got to set a short term goal, a short term goal that you're going to accomplish within the next 30 to 90 days. You see, my short term goal that I will accomplish is going, I am so happy and grateful now that I am a chairman 5000 within this investment group by September 7, 2023. Thank you, God, it is done. That's my goal. By Croatia, my goal is to accomplish Chairman 5000. I see it everywhere. I'm feeling it. Quantum leaps are coming from everywhere, right? I'm seeing it. Next 30 to 90 days, that's the goal, okay? So what is your goal the next 30, 90 days? What is the goal for your trading account? What is the goal for your business? And what is your goal personally? It's very important, guys, for you to understand and have your goals. All right? Second thing is setting your goals. You got to have a financial goal, a business goal, and a personal goal, like I just told you. The next goal is going to be your long-term goal. What is that long-term goal the next 60 to 90 days? You see, we set up goals, but we don't set up goals. We want a goal. Okay, I want to make 100K. Okay, cool. But have you made 10K yet? Have you made 5K yet? Oh, I'm going to duplicate this $100 account until 2000 But you haven't even made your first dollar yet trading live. You see what I'm saying? We set these goals sometimes out of our range, but we got to know how to set these goals right on that shift aim. It's very, very, very important, guys, for us to know how to set these goals, for us to be able to understand back 30 days. What is my goal? OK, this is my short term goal. This is my business short term goal. This is my personal short term goal. This is my my um, my business, my personal. And and this is my. Mm, mm, damn, I just I just lost my train of thought. My bad. Business trading and personal goal. So you got to be able to understand that this is it right here. So you have short-term and long-term goals, 30 to 90 days, and then you have 60 to 90 day goals for your long-term. Very, very, very important for you guys to be able to understand this, guys. Is this making sense? Drop a make sense in the chat box if this is really making sense, okay? Drop a make sense in the chat box if this is really making sense. Let's get it. So the next step. So I just gave you the first tip. The first tip is your why. The second tip is your goals. Okay? Second tip is your goals. Second tip is your goals. So, so the next thing that you guys should be able to do is this third skill set, right? This third skill set right here is make a list. The magic question will make in a list. You know what the magic question we're making the list is? Who do you know that I should know? Who do you know that I should know while you're making your list? What is it? Who do you know that I should know? That's the magic question where you're making a list. When you're making a list, who do you know that I should know? And you make a list this way. This way is how you make a list right here. When you're making a list, you make a list broken down into three different steps, okay? What's the first step? When you make a list of individuals, who do you want to create unforgettable moments with? You see, when I first started this journey about three years ago, I made a list of individuals who I wanted to help. I made a list of individuals that I want to create. I wanted to create long lasting memories with. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Some of them joined my business, some of them didn't. 100%, they didn't. And what did I have to do as I, as I was growing through this? I had to understand that this is only for the willing. These are for the people who really truly wanna change. These are really for the people who truly are looking to exceed and go to that next level in their life. And I had to really, truly understand this. And the more that I truly had to understand this, I had to become more so my friends and family could be able to join my business. But I had to understand that I had to make a list first. 
Who are the people that I want to create long lasting memories with? And I made that list. This person, Alex. Johnny, Anthony, Ray, made that list. As I made this list, I started to understand that like, okay, let me talk to them. They were like, no, nah, man, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's okay. I made my list. But people who I wanted to create unforgettable most moments with. And I did it. That was the first list I made. Second list I made. Acquaintances. Who are the people that I know? Who are the people who know me? Who are the people that are always showing love? Who are the people that are my followers? Who are those people? Like right now, if I say, if I make, if I post a picture on Instagram, who's the first person that's gonna go like that picture? Who is that? Boom. Okay, let me write them down on my list. So the first list that you're gonna make individuals who you want to create long lasting memories with. Individuals who do you want to help? Who is it in your family, in your friends, in 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 your neighbors? Who is it? Who's your acquaintances? The next list that you want to make is influencers. I'm not talking about people who have the verified check on Instagram. I'm not talking about super successful individuals. No, 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 no. You know who I'm talking about? Who is that individual that right now you say, hey, I'm going to the beach. Who's that individual that's going to come and follow you? Oh, yo, yo, I'm going with you, sis. Oh, I'm going with you, bro. Who are the people that you have influence on? Who are those people? Right now, you're going to throw a party. Who's going to come to that party with you? Who are those people? Write them down on that list. People who are going to come and party with you. Who are those people? Who are the people that you have influence on right now? That no matter what, they're going to come to whatever you're doing. Write them down. That's called your warm market. Okay? Perfect. Next skill. Next skill is one of my favorites. Step number four. I want the road to go and hit two and three. Plan number 150. You need to know the four step. You need to know the four, the this four step, which is edification. You need to know how to edify. Edification, guys. Edification, if you don't know what edification is, is right here for you. It's the instruction or improvement of a person's morale or intellectually. And what do I mean by that? Is this, guys, look, when, they, when, when you're edifying somebody, you must pick two to three characteristics that you like about that person. You must be able to identify that person with two to three things that they've been able to accomplish. What are those things that they have accomplished? And what do I mean edify? Guys, edify. Edify your mentor. Edify your coach. Edify. Be genuine and intentional when you're edifying people. It's very, 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 very key. It's an advantage. It's an advantage to, to be able to edify people in this journey. You got to be able to know how to edify somebody. Edify, edification, that's the key of this game, okay? Edify, 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 edify. I'm always edifying my mentors. I'm always showing my mentors to people. I'm always plugging my people into my mentors, edifying them who I'm working with. Because when you first start this journey, you may not have all the results that you want yet. But guess what? Edify your mentor. Edify your mentor. It's very, very important to edify. And how do I edify, KD? How do I edify? Number one, you got to be able to know how to leverage. Leverage and export. I always leverage my mentors. Leverage an expert to close your deals. And how do you be able to do that? Which this is the next skill set right here. Right here is the next skill set, which is leverage. Leverage is the key of the game. So I gave you guys right here. Be able to know your why. Establish your goal. After establishing your goal, you got to know how you're going to be able to make a list. Edify. Now you have leverage. 
Know how to leverage. Leverage is the key of this game. And how do you guys leverage? Leveraging is easy. It's leveraging the people that have the results that you don't have yet. Leveraging your mentors. What is a leverage? The use of some of something to the maximum of your advantage before, before you be able to have it. You see, I leverage. I leverage my mentors here on the way. I leverage, I call them. Every time I have somebody that was interested in my business or on my list, I call my mentors. I leverage because right now you get to leverage. And when you get to leverage, guess what happens? When you leverage, you leverage until you become the leverage. I wrote it down right there for you. Before you can be able to lead, you must follow. Follow your mentor, follow your coach, follow the leader that enrolled you into this business. Leverage them. Leverage will set you for development in this industry, guys. You will have a quantum lead because you leverage. You can't skip steps in this level that you need to master. You don't. Why leverage? Leverage is the key of this game. It allows for speed and to bypass by any er error that you make. That's why I leverage my mentors. That's why I edify my mentors. And this goes into this edification right here. The edification, the triangle of edification. You got to be able to learn how to, how to leverage an expert, guys. Every time you have a three-way call, every time you have somebody interested in your business, call your leader, call your mentor, call your coach. And this is how you do it. This triangle right here is key because in this triangle right here, guys, and I'm going to explain it to you in this triangle, the most important person here is who is the expert. That's the most important thing. But because how you leverage the expert, you are the connector. Remember that you are the connector in this three way call. What you start to build and what you start to do is you start to build the trust. You start to build the credibility and also the respect that all three of these individuals are going to have on this call. But the most important thing in this, in this um, edification triangle is you calling your mentor before the call. Call your mentor before the call. Let your mentor know, hey, I'm going to leverage you with my friend. And what do you do when you're edifying somebody? Two things that you admire about them. Two things that they have accomplished. Edify. Edify, edify, edify. And as you're edifying, you know what starts to happen? This is called leverage. You starting to leverage your mentors, which is the fifth step that you need here. You start to leverage. And why leverage? Because leverage it allows you for speed and bypass any error, any errors. The next thing makes, makes time for part-time. It makes you to do this business part-time. Remember, you're in a business by yourself, but you're not, you're not by yourself. You're in a business for yourself, but you're not by yourself in this business. Does that make sense? And you know what edifying does? It increases the trust and respect that you have for that person. Why do you think Nano and I have such an amazing relationship? Because when I first started this journey, I was edifying. I was calling him every single day. I'm still calling him and texting him every single day. Building that trust, building that relationship. Guys, your coach, your mentor can move better than you can. He can. I'm telling you. Why? Because they're more experienced than you. A lot of us come into this journey feeling like we know it all. Just because you hit a level doesn't mean that you know it all. Even at this level, guys, three years in the game, I'm still calling my mentors. I'm still calling my coach. I'm still leveraging them. Look, I'm about to host an event here today with Joey Wilson, Chairman 100. And I called my mentor, now, how do I edify him? Asking my mentor, yo, how do I talk to him? This is what you do right here. Boom, boom, boom. Easy. Remember, guys, by you guys leveraging your mentors, the mentee activates the mentor. Sam, doing this call, activates me. 
Sam showing up activates not only myself, but activates other people. Remember, the mentee always activates the mentor. I want you guys to start shifting yourself from you, me, to we. This is not a you, me business. This is a we business together. Together, we will achieve more, guys. That's the word team. Together, each and everyone will achieve more. And that's what we're doing here in the digital dynasty. I'm teammate, not self-made. So start leveraging your mentors. Those that want to go two and three, those who want to go and hit that next level, start leveraging your mentors, start edifying. It's the key, guys. I'm telling you, it's the key. So number one, I gave you guys your why. Number two, set your goals. Number three, let's make a list. Number four, let's edify. Number five is called leverage. And I got more for you. I'm going to stay in this subject here real quick because I feel like someone here on this call today needs to hear this. Someone on this call here today needs to hear this. If you're getting value, drop some value in the chat box for me, man. Drop some value in the chat box for me. Drop some value in the chat box if you guys are getting some value here today. Right? Like I told you, I'm, I came here today. Neno called me. He said, man... Pull up. You want to? I was like, Coach, put me in the game. That's all I said to him. I was like, Coach, put me in the game. I'm here. What's up? He put me in the game. All right. So, next that I want to talk about is this right here. Now, I want to talk about de edification. Okay. And what do I mean about de edification? And this happens here in this journey. As you go and hit these levels and as you're doing this, you start to feel like you know this. Right. And I'm going to tell you here today don't feel like that. Because you're the edif you the you, you're you're the edifying, not using your mentor, doing call solo, not plugging into the system, recreating the wheel. You're de edifying the system that we have in place. You're de edifying your mentor, your coach, your leader. Not asking questions. Not asking questions. You know what this leads to? Lack of results, and it leads to a consolidation. Right now, to my leaders that are here in this business, if someone left your business, it's because you're de-edifying yourself. You're not asking enough questions. You feel like you know it all. Keeping your team separate from the campfire will get you not on fire. Doesn't matter how many enrollments you get. Doesn't matter what you do. Doesn't matter what. Guess what, guys? You leaving and doing your own thing is going to create that culture on your team. You're not, you're the edifying yourself. You're the edifying the company. You're the edifying the digital dynasty. Okay. So biggest thing that I'll say to you guys here that you're going to start to build this business is this, is leave people better than what you found them. Leave people and leave them better than what you found them. And I'm going to go here to step number six. Okay. Step number six. But before I go to step number six, I want to go on ways that you could be able to leverage. How can you leverage your mentor? How can you leverage and edify your mentor? Three-way closes. Following up with the team. Right now, I have an incentive going on in my business. I have an incentive going on for whoever enrolls, one person, two people, three people, they're going to get an incentive. Right? What did I do? I called my mentor, Neno. I was like, yo, Neno. I need to leverage you, bro. What's up? Boom. Do a team call. Yo, Neno, come in on this call. Put the fire on people. Right? Follow up. Successful stories. These are ways that you guys can be able to leverage on your team. Right now, go to my Instagram. You guys will see. I posted all your new students that joined the business. And I tagged you on Instagram, too. And I follow, and I followed you. Right? That's ways of leveraging. Go leverage all the success stories that have been able to join our business. Why? Because people are seeing people join your business and join the digital dynasty. What starts to happen, guys? Yo, I want to be part of that. Leverage the group chats. Leverage the team chats. Leverage the events. Look, I'm not in Miami right now, but I have a guest in Miami. I have a guest in Miami at the event, and I'm not there. Post your event like if it was your event. 
Not because it's not in your city. You never know who's following you. These are ways you can leverage. Leverage the community. Leverage the support. This call right here, take a picture, video, whatever. Post it on Instagram. Tag me. Let people know that you're learning one-on-one. -on -one. This is how you're going to grow your business. I'm giving you all the keys here today. All the keys. Right? And if I lost you, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm still here if I lost you. Number six is going to be the perfect invite. So number one, you got the why. Number two, you guys got your goals. Number three, you guys got writing your list. Number four, you guys got edification. Number five, you guys got leverage. Number six is the perfect invite. Okay, number six is the perfect invite. So the perfect invite, what is the perfect invite? Very important for you guys to know this perfect invite right here is the four steps. Number one, break the ice. Number two, you wanna be in a hurry and you wanna clear people's schedule. Number three, you wanna add value and compliment and confirm. Number four, exclusivity and schedule. You see, when I'm doing breaking the ice, the first thing that I do is I'm always on a call, I'm always going to the gym, or, I, or I'm doing something. I, I'm doing something towards my business. I'm linking up for a lunch, a breakfast, whatever, right? First thing that I'm doing, boom, break the ice. Hey, what's going on, bro? How you doing? How's the family? My bad, bro. I actually got to go to an event or I got something to do. You see, boom, I'm already in a hurry. I'm breaking the ice. Hey, how's your family? How are you feeling? I got to go. But what are you doing today at 7 p.m.? Oh, nothing. Why? What's up? Hey, look, I thought of you. I'm actually hosting an entrepreneurship event here in Phoenix, Arizona. And I wanted to invite somebody like you that's business savvy. Someone like you that has an open mind. Someone like you that likes to network with people. And I know that in this network, you're going to connect with a lot of amazing people. Can I, can, can I count on you to be there? You told me you were free at 7 p.m. Yes, I'm free. Okay, perfect. So can I count on you to be there on this event? Because look, I'm only, I only have limited spots of people that I'm bringing in, but this limited spot, I'm willing to open up a spot for you. Can I count on you to be there? That's it. That's the four-step invite. And if you guys didn't quite get everything, I'm going to post this video on YouTube so you guys can be able to have it. Okay? That's a four-step invite. Break the ice, be in a hurry and clear their schedule, add value and compliment them, and also confirm them. It's have exclusivity. I only got limited spots available and I'm opening up a spot for you. Can I count for you to be there? And boom, schedule it. That's it. I'm going to send you the link right now. Go get your ticket. Easy. Right? It's easy. Right? Drop an easy in the chat box if that was easy. But remember, what's easy to do is also easy what? Not to do. Are you guys taking time every single day to invite people to the op calls? Are you guys taking time every single day to do and go out and invite? Yes or yes? Let me know in the chat box. Are you guys every single day making a new list? That old list that got me here, where I'm at right now, it's not going to get me to where the next level I want to be. That I will be. It's not. So what is your list? Your list is it growing every day. Are you going out to prospect every day? Look, I'm at this beautiful Airbnb right now. As soon as I step out of here, I'm going to go to an event, I'll probably get an Uber. And when I get that Uber, you think, what do you think I'm going to do? Oh, man, you smell good. You look good. Yeah, brother. What are you doing at seven? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, word. Are you down? Uh, hey, look, I'm going to my event. I'll be speaking in it. I'm the main speaker, and I'm hosting a digital entrepreneurship event where you can be able to network with people. Where this would be something that you like. Oh, what? Of course. Boom. Pull up. Here's the address. That's it. But are you doing these things on a day-to-day -day basis? For my leaders that have been here? Probably not. But guess what? Here, because you hopped on this call, you're going to receive that. You're going to receive that. that you don't only do, you do, yeah, you do these things over and over again. And here today, just because you're part of the digital dynasty, just because you watch this video and you're here live with me right now, Guess what? I'm going to give you a bonus. Okay. And this bonus right here. And if you have a goal or smashing or who's going to Croatia here, drop a Croatia in the chat box. If you're going to Croatia, drop a Croatia in the chat box. If you're going to Croatia, right? Croatia, Croatia, Croatia. Okay. Word. 
Croatia. So what's the goal for you to come to Croatia? Let me see in the chat box. What is the goal? What is the goal for you to Croatia? What level do you want to be at? What level do you want to smash? See, mine is chairman 5,000. <clears throat> I got a P1. Okay. Chairman 1,000. Perfect. You got six weeks to accomplish this. So that means in these next six weeks, you're going to make a list. Sama brother. In this next, this, 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 this next six weeks, you're gonna you're gonna go out and prospect new people. In these next six weeks, you're gonna sit down and you're gonna organize yourself. You're gonna leverage your coach, you're gonna leverage your leader, you're gonna edify your team, you're gonna edify your community in these next six weeks. And in these next six weeks, you guys are going to do a perfect invite to events, perfect invite to op calls, perfect invite to, 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 to your team, to this community. And guess what else we're going to do? This is for you right here, right? We're going to have the perfect game plan. And the perfect game plan is this. I want you to ask yourself these questions. Number one, what is I am for you? You see, I am for me is a platform that I can become the best version of myself and I can have multiple streams of income. That's what I am is for me. Now, what do you want to create? What type of culture do you want to create? You got to ask yourself this question too. You see, I am for me is a digital entrepreneurship platform where I can have multiple streams of income. 555 here in Arizona, as I said that, right? What is the culture that I want to create? I want to help individuals in third world countries. I want to become that I will become the best version of myself every single day so I can help myself and develop myself so I can be able to help others. Every single day, I'm going to get one step closer to get, to get the men and women who want to lead, the men and women who want to break the chains in their family, the men and women who want to make a change in this world. Get closer to them. That's why I build this business. That's why I go out every day. Who are who are the men and women in their in their lives right now? The men and women in this world right now that want to break their family chains. I broke my chains in my family. I know they could break their chains. I'm getting closer and closer and closer to retire my mom. So I'm getting one step closer to what? Going out there and stepping out of my comfort zone to get those individuals. And the next step is how you're going to promote yourself. How you're going to promote yourself moving forward. How is it? Remember, your social media is what? Your resume to people joining your business. Your social media is your brand. Your social media is how you're going to go out there and present yourself. You see, you got to dress how you want to be addressed. You got to brand yourself how you want to be branded, how, how you want to be talked to. You see, you go to my Instagram and straight what? Value. You go to my Instagram and you see what? Value, 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 value. You're like, damn, bro. He just got hella value. I got I to gotta mess with him. I got to follow him. Here you go. Boom. Follow me. And later on, they know exactly what I do. Okay? Next step that you need to do is a launch date. What is the launch date? Guess what? Get After this call... Text your leader, text your mentor, text your coach. Yo, I want to launch my business with you. Give him a launch date, a launch date where you're going to have a private webinar in person, or you're going to have a private webinar on Zoom, and you're inviting people to that webinar. Private launch. And in that private launch, what you're going to do, you're going to take an action of steps, which is called promotion. You're going to promote your business. You're going to make a list. Right after you make your list, what are you going to do next? You're going to write down your goal. What is your next 30, 60, 90 day goal? Next thing you're going to do, you're going to make that list. Right after you make that list, you're going to edify. And they say you're going to talk to people about this. You're going to edify. After edifying, what are you going to do? You're going to leverage your mentor. Right after leverage, you're going to do what? Invite 
to what? Your call, to your event. And the actions and steps that you're going to take is this, promotion on social media, talking about it. Once you have your launch date, everybody here today, what day are you going to launch in August? Because you can't launch tomorrow. You don't have so much. You can't launch. Ne next week is already August. When in August are you guys going to launch? Drop it in the chat box. August what? August what? You're going to launch your business. You see, I'm going to Puerto Rico August 13th to August 18th to launch my business. And I've already been running paid promotion, videos, all that good stuff every single day. Boom, 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 nonstop. August 13th through the 18th, I'll be launching my business. So when are you launching your business? Who's here launching their business? Let me see the date on the chat. If you haven't picked the date yet, guess what? There's a calendar. Someone says solid training. Good stuff, bro. Way to be here. Love it. The 15th, the 16th, the 6th. Okay. So you right now, what you need to do, the steps, you got to make a list. You got to call your mentor. Make sure that that mentor is available. That coach is available. Make a flyer. Boom. Okay. Promotion. Run promotion on Instagram. Next thing you do is you plant seeds on Instagram. You start building relationships. You see, I build relationships on Instagram. I build a relationship with them. And then what you do after that is you run promotion. You promote your launch date. You see, this is, this is one of my flyers that I made for my launch date. Promote it. Promote, 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 promote. Pay promotions. Send these promotions out. Network with people. Go out and talk about it. Print out these flyers. Pass them out. Okay? If you guys got some value, drop some value in the chat box for me. Right? Because I told you here today, you're going to receive something that you haven't had yet. Here today, you're going to get some keys. And I'm excited to see all you guys launch your business. And you only launch once. That's YOLO. You only launch once. Do this once the right way. Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me, guys. I believe in you. I trust you. I respect you. And I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you so much for being on this call here today. Thank you so much for your energy. Thank you so much for your wisdom. Thank you so much for you all. I appreciate you. God bless. That's my Instagram right here. And if you guys haven't listened to my new podcast, I'm dropping an episode tonight. Make sure you guys tap in to Drop the Sauce Show. It's available on every platform. You guys can listen to it. That's my podcast right there. And I appreciate every single one of you guys. God, God bless. If you have any questions, feel free to always reach out to me. And one thing that I would like from you guys, all 19 plus of you guys that are here on this call, is go back into the chat. And let me know what you guys learned here today. What did you guys learn here today? Let me know in the chat box, in, in the chat of the team. In the team chat, I want to know what did you guys learn today um, on this call. And the reason why I want to know what you guys learned is because, guys, look, I'm going to be honest with you, right? Can I be honest? It's very important for when you guys are on calls. It's very important for when you guys take time and take notes for you guys to know, what did you learn here today? Do me a favor real quick. Everybody, write the word LART on your phone. Write down the word LART on your notes, okay? And when you write down this word LART, I want you guys to write down the first word, which is LEARN, and ask yourself, what did I learn on this call today? Okay, what did you learn on this call today? What was it? What did you learn on this call? The second thing is, what am I going to apply after this call? What am I going to apply? The R stands for what results am I going to gain after this? What are those results? And then the T is because everybody here is a leader. Everybody here has a team and is going to have a team here. What am I going to teach my team moving forward after this?